Congratulations on the purchase of your Forbes TV. In this instructional video, I'm going to show you how to set it up from start to finish, ready for camping. First thing you want to do when you're going to set up your caravan is find a good level spot to do so. Once you've found that spot, put the handbrake on, uncouple the trailer and move your car out of the way, then adjust the level of the caravan from front to back using the jockey wheel. Once you get that right, you can put the stabiliser legs down. To put the stabiliser legs down, first you'll have to grab the speed brace out of your caravan. To lower the leg, just take the weight off the leg and pull the blue handle out and lower it down. Aim to get it in the vertical position because that's when it's at its strongest. To lower it, put your speed brace on the hex drive and just wind it down. There you go, do that on all four. If you find the caravan is not level from left to right, you may need to use some step ramps or something to level it up. Stabiliser legs aren't made to lift the full weight of the caravan, winding them up. They're quite strong, but they have small bevel gears that you don't want to break. Before we go any further, what I do is unlatch the roof so it's not difficult to access once all the back section's set up. There are four over centre latches, one in each corner, and in those latches will be a little gold linchpin just to stop them from accidentally coming undone. What you want to do, remove all the linchpins, then undo all four roof latches. The spare wheel is held in place with a pin like this, which will have an R clip or a linchpin keeping it secure. There's also two over center latches, which will have be secured with linchpins as well. Remove the linchpins, remove this pin and undo the over center latches and that allows us to lower the spare wheel. And here you can see the two over center latches that hold the spare wheel up in place and the safety pin goes through there. Now our spare wheel is dropped down out of the way, we can open up the back fold out section for the bed. There's three latches across the bottom. They're lockable, so you can lock them up when your caravan's being stored. Get all three undone. Then we can open up the wing panels. The wing panels are secured in the middle with pad bolts. Pull the pad bolt back and move the wing panels out to the side. The back section inside here is actually the bed base as well. Attached to that is the back window assembly. To lower this, there is a latch in the top corner, both sides. Same latch as the back. Undo those and you can lower the base down. Once that's in position, we can grab the handles and raise the window section up. Pull it out all the way and put our over center latches on. To add some security, what you can do is put a small padlock through these over center latches. That'll stop anyone undoing them and accessing the caravan through the back. At each end of the roof inside the caravan is a lever. To raise the roof, we start at the front. Always raise the front first, push the lever up until you get full extension on the front of the roof and it stays up. Then go to the back, grab the lever and extend the roof up at the back. Be sure each time when it's up that you swing the little chrome toggle round in front of the plate to ensure that it can't accidentally come down. To extend the awning, there's a few things you need to do. First, turn on the mains 12 volt power at the isolation switch. Then switch on the toilet awning switch on the panel. Then we can just simply switch the rocker switch for the awning and the awning will extend automatically. 
The awning has limiters in it, so when it becomes to its full extension, it will automatically stop, the same when it retracts. It's always a good idea, particularly if it's windy, just to hang on to the front of the awning, make sure the wind can't get it and try and take off with it. Today, we're fortunate it's very, very still. As it comes out, once it's extended at least half the way, you can start unpacking the legs. When taking the legs out of the awning fascia, always pull the hinge end out first. That's at the extremity. Then unclip the leg from its C-clip holder and extend it and do that both ends. Once your awning's fully extended, there's some pegs that are included in your kit for pegging down the feet of the awning. Peg them in and it's ready to use. If you're on concrete, you may want to use some weights or something to ensure that the awning can't be blown over by the wind. And remember, it's a fair weather awning. If you've got storms or heavy rains coming, you need to pack it up. Before you use your hot water system, you need to come out and open up the flue. At the back of the caravan here, you'll have a large metal cover. Open that up and you'll see the Truma factory cover there. We need to remove this white cover before we switch the heater on. To do that, you put both thumbs in the center here, grab the lip at the top and peel it back and it comes off quite easily. Now the flue is clear, ready to go inside and switch the hot water system on at the main control. That's how you set up your Forbes 11 TB. So easy to do. Make sure you check out our other videos, pack up videos, and of course, the handover videos on our YouTube channel. And for more information, head across to marketdirect.com.au.